Have you ever fallen in love with a project? And the more you put your heart into it, the more you feel connected with your purpose. Then you, my friend, are in the right place. Hi, I'm Raymond, and this is Season 5 of Running With Raymond. My lifelong vlog series about learning, loving, creating, feeling, and growing through life. It's a show about making your own opportunities and having the courage to share your story with the world. Life can be uncertain, but I'm glad to know that you'll be right here with me no matter where I go. Wow. That's so nice. <laughs> gang, 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 gang. Thank you so much. Have a good one. What is going on guys? Today I got my NYU card. The funny thing is, I don't go to NYU. But I will be working from NYU sometimes. And so I needed to have an NYU card. Which is really cool because it was actually one of my dreams to be in NYU. And now I have an NYU card but I don't go to school here. What's going on guys? Guess who's here with me? Hey guys, how's it going? It's Zihan. Zihan and I are headed to Art Connects over at the Foundation Center. And we're gonna check out their open house and meet with people and check out some art and then hopefully land Zihan some new buyers. <laughs> about it guys I was I mean like we just kind of like schmoozed and talked to people and stuff and it was really cool hearing about all the artwork and the whole collection that they've had here after a few hours of fancy mingling at that fancy foundation center Zion and I found ourselves right here at BB bubble team having some boba Zion is outside I don't know what he's doing right now so I'm just gonna have bubble tea by myself because he actually did not want any, but I do. Mmm. Mmm. I tried to catch Aaron Kai at this mural that he's painting for right on Elizabeth Street in Houston, but he was kind of late. He said he was going to be there around 11. He wasn't there, so I had to go to work. Now, I am biking back over there to the area to see if I can catch him. A little info about Aaron Kai, he's actually a Bay Area artist. That's, that's just about all I know. But I've been enjoying his art for a while through Instagram and other platforms. So it's really exciting to maybe hopefully finally meet him. So, just park my bike. I'm gonna go ask him some questions. Aaron is actually originally from Hawaii and then he moved to the Bay Area for nine years. Yeah. And now, now he resides in LA but is working in New York. What's up man? Um, so Aaron, what does art mean to you? To me, um, art is basically self-expression in the rawest form. I couldn't do anything else besides art and like ha and be happy so art means a lot and it's damn near my entire life it's a big deal um and it's kind of interesting painting this wall like out here in the in the streets because you'll see some people really take a liking to it and really be inspired by art and then you'll see some people just walk past it and like don't really notice it so it's my life it's how i make money and it's how i stay happy being able to do what you want to do for yourself Get it. I'm also glad he was able to drop some nice insights on what he feels art is and his expression of art. So we are continuing our exploration of New York's art scene. We're now in Alphabet City, which is uh, an area in East Village, and we're going to an art gallery that's been hosted and which features actually like 
running photos, a lot of the running culture being documented throughout the years. Um, and so they're having a gallery, and this is just all different types of level of art that you could experience here in New York, and that's what's really cool. Here we are inside the gallery where behind us is the history of Bridge Runners and Bridge the Gap and all the crews that founded it and are now a part of it. These are the founding crews up there. And then later on it expanded to all these different crews from around the world with all these memories. Hi. History from personal moments on this wall to some casual runs and moments in the community on that wall. Um, it spans 10 to 12 years. Uh, there's some recent ones, like there's a photo of me meeting my girlfriend, and that's kind of cool. Memories, that's what it's all about. It really is. I'm here with Cedric. Cedric is the founder of, uh, co-founder of Bridge Runners and as well as Bridge the Gap Movement. Well, so we, we have a place here so that we, we collaborate with Nike. We gave this idea of like doing something with Bridge the Gap and um, just uh, the involvement of how it all started. So we have the beginning of Bridge Runners, um, all like kind of different shirts and different runs that we've done. And that was from around the world that we've um, Brian, and uh, at the end we have the first five crews plus all the other crews that are part of the movement. Like we have a wall for them over there because we want to give everybody, uh, we want to give everybody uh, like you know a reason to, to feel like they're part of this movement, even if you're not part of the Bridge Academy. So it's the end of the vlog, and I'm about to leave New York, going to LA. I look really tired. Why do I look really tired? Because I haven't slept yet. I usually don't sleep before early morning flights. And behind me is my plane, and I think we're about to leave very, very soon. And I know this is really sudden, so I'm just gonna explain it really quickly. So it was really cool being able to experience all the art experiences in New York, from going to curation, to like a street art, to like a street mural, and going to like a gallery that was like, that was commemorating the New York Marathon with Bridge Runners and Nike and the whole crew, the whole running community was there. It was really dope to experience all that different art experiences and the different ways that art is expressed. That just goes to show that art is everywhere and art comes from everyone. I wanted to actually leave with this question. What does art mean to you guys? Aaron told us a little bit about how he felt about art and what art meant to him. And so now it's time to ask you guys, how do you guys define art? What does art mean to you? So go ahead and comment that down below and let me know. One of my favorite things about New York is that there is art everywhere. And that's actually a big reason why I love coming back to New York because of all the art that is here. I hope you guys had a lot of fun experiencing all the different art from a wall mural with Aaron Kai to the a to Z gallery thrown by Bridge Runners and even the Art Connects, little little quick Art Connects with Zihan. Also, I think it's time for me to get some rest. I'm probably just gonna sleep in the plane, go right to sleep. I'm so tired. Um, I gotta get going.